Hello guys, welcome back to another video here on EH Techniques. Man, it's always a pleasure to have, have you guys on board as we take on this cyber security journey and learning all the new stuff in technology. So today I want to touch on something that is growing rapidly, that is the Internet of Things. So as, as you have probably, I'm a, as you probably already know, the Internet of Things, also called IoT, Internet of Things, has become one of the most important targets for hackers in recent years. So the Internet of Things includes just about any device that has the capability to connect to the Internet. Okay, these, these include routers, webcams, uh, smart fridges, smart TVs, and all that. These devices have a small, simple computer embedded in them. Usually, they run a form of, um, of Linux as an operating system. So while so many of our systems have implemented more secure protocols and procedures, these devices have, le have been left largely unprotected. Yeah, you, you know things like uh, ATMs. ATMs use what we call embedded operating systems, such as uh, Windows 7 embedded. I, you will find that some routers are still running, sorry, some ATM machines are still running uh, embedded Windows XP. So these kind of things are what are contributing to these security risks. Some of them are left unprotected with default passwords like this, like routers, um, hubs, switches. Yeah. So it becomes a security risk. In recent years, we have seen uh, famous attacks like the Mirai DDoS attack that locked, knocked out large portions of the internet, including Twitter, we have CNN, Netflix, and uh, these large uh, sites and corporations. Okay, So with this many devices, I don't think any server or service is ever safe. So today I'm going to do a simple demonstration on my router. Uh, so as a security security guy, I'm very, very concerned about my security. I always update my devices. So I am not sure if we are going to find a vulnerability in my system, but we shall go ahead and do it anyway. Let's see if we'll find anything. So I'm going to demonstrate using a tool called Rootasploit. I don't know if you guys have heard of it, Rootasploit. It's a simple framework for doing exploitation attacks on embedded devices like routers. So the first step, of course, is to download and install Rootasploit and its requirements. So before we do that, I'll just open a new tab here. Then uh, before we do anything, we have to install Python 3 pip. So I have them here. So I can just grab here. I can just go to run this command here. So I'll do sudo shift control V paste. Then sudo password. Okay, so Python 3 pip is already in the newest version. So we're going to skip that. Then let's download and install Rootersploit from github.com. I already have the repository here, it's here. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I've copied it. Copy it. Okay, so let me cd to my opt directory. I like to install it there. Now I can I can control shift V. Mm. The command is not complete. We have G here. Then I need to do sudo. Then we're going to clone the repository, root exploit. Okay, it's done. CD root exploit, ls. 
now we have this bunch of stuff here so we are going to to install requirements so if i do cut sorry not read me requirements the text not even not text i want to see the requirements dot oh, not dot txt so these are the requirements that that are needed okay future paramico so to install these requirements we'll do sudo python3 dash m pip install dash r sorry requirements dot txt not dev sorry dxc i think it's okay yeah, it's done so let's let's install the requirements first before we start okay so everything has been set um, now what we need to do we just need to let me just clear the screen first let me do uh, sudo python 3 rsf.py and that's there it is now so that's root exploit um, exploitation framework for embedded devices the developer is threat 9 we have a code name i knew what trouble version 3.4.1 we have exploits here we have 132 scanners four credentials 171 jeric four payloads 32 encoders and i don't know sorry sorry exploits are 32 scanners are four creds are 171 generic four payloads 32 encoders six okay so uh note that root exploit displays its modules across the bottom of screen similar to metasploit framework now let's go ahead and explore root exploit now that we have root exploit up and running we can just go up so just like metasploit we can use the show command to have root exploit retrieve all the modules for us and display them on the screen let's first look at the exploits so we can do show exploits uh so these are all the exploits contained in the root exploit framework we have exploits that target cameras that target uh, routers so most of the time it's routers okay so as you can see we have over 100 I, these are i'm sure there are over 100 exploit modules that are categorized by manufacturer model and the vulnerability that it targets so you can see at the end here so these are the vulnerabilities information disclosure path transversal credit disclosure jailbreak rce remote command execution okay so some target hashes we have backdoors password disclosure authentication bypass okay so although this may seem like quite a few there are dozens of router manufacturers and hundreds of models so these exploits amount to just a few per, per manufacturer for so we have um, manufacturers like huawei we have we have exploits for different models of huawei routers and such kind of stuff so now let's show the scanners so we have how many scanners one two three four we have four scanners scanners auto pawn camera scan miscellaneous scan and router scan okay so just four scanner modules that are available now let's look at the search function so once again like the metasploit framework root exploit has a search function but not as quite as effective or powerful as metasploits okay uh, and like metasploit the search function doesn't enable us to search by module type or part from uh, if you look at the previous video that i did on metasploit series 
I I went about how to do or how to search for specific exploits, payloads, uh, modules. Okay, so we can search by platform, by exploit, or even the CV ID and such that. So that capability is not is not within the root exploit framework. Okay, but it works. It does work well instead. So we are only limited to keyword searches on uh, root exploit framework. For example, if I do search creds, okay, so it will give me a bunch or a list of all the exploits that contain the word creds. Everything that contains the word creds will be listed here. Exploits. We have credentials for routers and for specific version of routers. For example, here we have TP-Link, we have Thompson, we have Netsys, Microtic, and all that. Okay, so it will display all the creds module as well as a few modules that contain the keyword creds. Although we can't search by type or platform, a keyword search for manufacturer can be effective. For instance, uh, let's target uh linksys i think yeah we have a linksys here so if i want to target all or if i wanted to search for all the modules that target this specific type of embedded device i can do search uh link sys okay and just like that root exploit will output the result showing all the modules that target this specific type of device, the lenses device. Okay. So uh, that's how you do, basically you do a simple search for information on root exploit framework. That, just like I told you before, it's not as advanced or versatile as Metasploit framework where you can search for specific exploit, specific uh, or exploits that target a specific platform like Windows or Linux or Android or Mac OS and all that. So let me just go back here where I show you the scanners. So the one that uh, we, I'm going to use or the one that we use all the time when I do uh, this type of scans on my router, I usually use scanners out upon. Okay. So let's go ahead and do a simple, uh, simple vulnerability scan on my router. So I'm going to use scanners out upon, okay? Yep. So now we are in the module, out upon module, okay? I can do show options just like Metasploit framework. So all I need to set is the target, the target IP version 6 or IP version 6 or IP version 4 address. So everything else has been set. So I can open a new tab here to find the IP address of my router. If you don't know how to need, how to find the IP address of your router, there's a simple tool called IP calc. I already have it, IP calc. Oh, I don't have IP calc. So let's go ahead and install it, sudo apt update let's first update i like to update first then sudo apt install ip calc sudo so it's going to go ahead and install uh, the ip calc or ip calculator in full so it's a very it's a great tool for finding the ip address range the minimum host that is the ip address of your router and all that kind of network information that you need. Just like that. Okay. So it's gonna finish. Then what we need to do next is to do IF config. IF config. So this is my IP. I can just copy it. Sorry. What I kind of copy. Okay. Let me just do IP calc. 192.168.1. That. No, 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 no. 
that okay so it's going to give me a bunch of information including my address my net mask world card and this is my network range the host minimum that is the ip address of your router it's right here okay so you can use ip calc to get this information if you are not as uh well endowed with computer networking so it's 192.168.1.1 that's the ip address of my router okay so i can now do set sorry set target 192.168.1.1 okay now that i have set the ip address of my router mm, we just need to do run just like beta support framework you remember we only need to put the target here now i can do run and to and to launch all these modules at the router to try and find any weaknesses or flaw to to try and exploit it or to gain access to that router run and just like that router exploit will start doing the scan if i go up here uh, it's running module scanners out upon starting a vulnerability check then it will start launching all the exploits that it's that con it's con that are contained inside the root exploit framework okay mm. like i just like i told you before guys i i i regularly update my devices so you can see that it's not vulnerable we are only seeing vulnerable so if any is if um, right here if anything is indicated by green that means there's a vulnerability that can be exploited but you only see red red okay yeah and oh lord i have a vulnerability lord of mercy i have a vulnerability guys so the router exploit did all the scan and like there's that we have a vulnerability on my router which i'm going to i'm going to rectify right away so we have a exploit routers links in series them on rce we have a remote command execution on my router so this is dangerous uh i don't know how but i i need to uh, update uh, that router okay so we have, we have just discovered vulnerability so this was a simple demonstration i'm not going to try and exploit it guys uh so i hope you have learned something here so these routers you need to up, i think you need like to update them every day <laughs> you need to up, update them every day uh i think the reason why we have a vulnerability here uh because i think we had a an internet outage for almost uh, four days maybe i don't know but that's not an excuse you should always always regularly update your devices and if you get a vulnerability remember to patch it so that you don't create backdoors for uh hackers to try and gain access to your systems so guys this was a simple demonstration using root exploit and we in my case we found a vulnerability i'm not going to use this router now i'm going to switch to another router while i try to patch this vulnerability here it's a remote command execution vulnerability so guys thank you so much for for tuning to eh techniques and uh, i just want to plead with you guys to help me reach 1000 subscribers uh, i want to create more videos but resources are a hindrance so please subscribe like my videos i'm going to give you even more great content going forward thank you for joining me today and i look forward to seeing you in the next video